Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today we're back with another tutorial. Today we're going to be teaching you how to set up factions on your Minecraft Pocket Edition server. So, let's get straight into it. So the plugin that we're going to be using today is called Factions Pro. There'll be a link to this plugin down in the description below. Now before we install this plugin, we do need to make sure that it is compatible with our server version. So to do this, go to this page, take a look at the supported API versions on the right hand side. As you can see, it says it supports 3.0.0 Alpha 7 to Alpha 8. So if you go to the control panel for your Minecraft server, then go to the console and then type version. And if you scroll along, you should see that it mentions the API version which your server is running on. So I'm running on 3.0.0-Alpha 8, which is compatible with this plugin. So once you're sure that your server is compatible, click the direct download button, click save to your downloads folder, then once it's downloaded, go back to the control panel for your Minecraft server, go to the file manager, go to plugins, click upload file, and then choose files, and then select the file that we just downloaded and click upload from computer. Then once it's uploaded, restart the server. Then once you've given your server a few moments to restart, click the refresh button, and you should see a folder called Factions Pro appear. If you've got to this stage of the tutorial and you don't see the Factions Pro folder, contact our support, you can contact them at the link at the top of our website, and they'll be more than happy to help you. However, if you're going good, feel free to continue. So once you've got the Factions Pro folder, you're pretty much set to go. Factions is working on your server, so if you were to join it now, it would be working. But we're going to take a very quick look at the configuration files. So if we go inside of this folder, you can see that we have a couple of different files. We're going to be taking a look at this file here, prefs.yml. So if we take a look in here, it's got some of the basic settings for the Factions plugin. So we're just going to run through these very quickly. So the first setting is Max Faction Name Length. So this is pretty um, self-explanatory. This is how many characters can be in a faction's name. So by default, it's set to 15. Feel free to increase or decrease that as you will. The next one is how many players can be in each faction. Um, the maximum at the moment is 30. If you want more people to be in it, able to be in a faction, feel free to change that again. You could just change it to 50, 100, or even 1,000 if you wanted to. I'm just going to leave it at 30 as I think that's a nice amount. The next setting is only leaders and officers can invite. So this is whether um, leaders or officers of factions can invite other people to the faction or not. If you have this set to true, only leaders and officers can. If you have it set to false, normal members will be able to invite them too. So in factions, Officers are below leaders, so leaders are like higher ranking people within the faction. So the next setting is officers can claim. So if this is set to false, that means officers can't claim, only leaders can. If you have it set to true, that means officers and leaders can claim plots. The next setting is plot size. So this is just the size of the plot for the factions. Feel free to increase or decrease that. The next setting is players needed in faction to claim a plot. So this is how many players need to be in a faction for them to be able to claim a plot. By default, it's set to five. Feel free to increase or decrease again. The next setting is power needed to claim a plot. So this basically just means how much power is needed for a faction to be able to claim a plot. So if they have over 1000 power, they will be able to claim. If they have under, they won't be able to. The next setting is power needed to set or update a home. So this is how much power a faction needs to be able to physically set a home so that players can type slash faction home and it takes them to that home. The next setting is power gain per player in faction. So say if a faction has 10 players, that means the faction will have gained 500 power from having 10 players in the group. And um, you can change this to any amount again. It's completely up to you. The next setting is power gained per killing an enemy. So if you kill an enemy faction player, you will gain 10 power towards your faction. If you ally another faction, you will also get extra power. So you can change how much is gained when you ally other factions. You can also set a limit to how many allies each faction gonna have. This is a very good setting to change because a lot of factions will just ally with each other so that they all get loads of power. So I like to set this to a lower amount, maybe like two or three. The default power, which every faction starts with, you can set this to zero. You could also set this to a thousand. And because if they start with zero power, that means that they won't be able to claim any plots until they get some extra power. So the next setting is the default power every faction starts with. So you can change this again to whatever amount you want. I like to keep it at zero so they have to build it up. However, if you're running more of a hardcore faction server, you may want to set this to something like 500 or 1000. The setting enable overclaim. So this basically means whether factions are able to overclaim other factions if they've got more power. Claim worlds, we're not going to be looking into that today. Allow chat is whether you allow factions chat. Allow faction PvP is whether you allow same players within a faction to PvP each other. Allow allied PvP, again, is just similar, but for allied factions. So that's basically all the settings. It's really simple and self-explanatory. And once you've made any changes, click save 
and then once more restart your server to apply those changes. Then once your server has restarted, you can go ahead and join it. So as you can see, I've just joined my server. And if I type slash F help, I should see all the factions commands for factions pro come up. So you've got six pages. So to go to different pages, you type slash F help two, three, um, four, five, six, and so on to see all of the commands. It's a really simple plugin. So to create a faction, you just type slash F create um, and then the name. So for example, if I wanted to call it server pro, I could call it that and then I've created a faction. And again, you can go ahead and look through all the commands yourself. It's a fantastic plugin with really simple to use commands. So if you need any help, with factions or if you run into any problems please contact our support they'll be more than happy to help you other than that you're basically done so thank you for watching i hope that you have a great day goodbye